This is Couples Court with the Cutlers. This is the case of LeBeau versus LeBeau. You all are married and have one child together, is that correct? Yes, yes Your Honor. Honor. But allegations of cheating are tearing your relationship apart. Is that right, Mr. LeBeau? Yes, Your Honor. And you have brought your wife here accusing her of, in fact, cheating. Is that correct? Yes, Your Honor. All right. If, in fact, we find out she's cheating, what does that mean? I have no other choice but to leave her because I can't be anybody's doormat like that. I love her. I love my family. We have a beautiful child together. But like I said, I just can't stand around and just be somebody's doormat like that. So your life together is at stake based on what we find out today. Yes, Your Honor. Do you understand that, Miss LeBeau? Yes, Your Honor. What do you hope to prove today? I'm here to prove that I'm innocent. It hurts me that he thinks that I would be doing something like that when I'm working for our family and for a better future for us and our child. Okay, Mr. LeBeau, you see that your wife is saying this is hurting her. Why do you think she's cheating? What are the warning signs? What, you, what makes you think that? The number one thing is her cell phone. Okay. She used to keep it by her bedstand at night when, she, when it's charging. But over the last few weeks, for some reason, it's been underneath her pillow. It's been, become like almost like Fort Knox to try to get to her phone. And I don't understand why. If she doesn't have anything to hide... Okay, so, Ms. Well, LeBeau, are my, you... I leave my phone on my charger at night, just like everybody else, next to my head. So if there's an emergency at night, I can hear it. There's no, nothing being hidden. If you ask, I give it to you. So I don't understand where But you it... don't. That's why you keep it underneath your pillow. We hear that all the time about the cell phone. That's, I mean, that's... That is a number one issue is the cell phone, how you mm -hmm. handle it, what you're under doing the, with it. Under the mattress, behind the nightstand, behind the headboard, under the pillow. Sleeping literally on their body. Oh, yeah. So you think that she is hiding the phone because she has either text messages or phone calls from or other something. men? Yes, yes, Your Honor. But what I don't get is why she lies about where she is. You know, I installed an app that actually has GPS on it, and she'll lie about where she is. You know, she'll say she's uh, at a restaurant with her friends, and when I look it up, it's not the restaurant that she said. It All right, tell I'm, me about I'm that. I'm fully aware that there's GPS on my phone. So I don't see where the problem was. I've told him I'm at, uh, you know, lunch with a friend. I'm sorry if I go to CVS afterwards. But, <laughs> so, but no, the you whole... Know? But you told me a completely different restaurant. You know, like point A to Maybe point D is completely different. Maybe we changed our mind. I don't remember the exact date because it was so mundane. It doesn't matter to me. Okay, to that point, Mr. LeBeau, there's one thing to say, I'm going to restaurant A and mm -hmm. you end up going to restaurant B. But it doesn't matter. If she tells him she's at point A and she's at point B, no. that's dishonest. It's you not... know, when yes, me and my girl will tell you, hey, color, we're going so and so. And then we, on the way, you know, I really don't want to go there. Why we go there? We see well, somewhere right. else. Right. I'm not doing anything differently. Right, but the, the difference is he's asking her because he's, he's double checking her. So he's got the GPS so you ready. Me a woman can't Where change are... her no. mind. <laughs> you think. Me, as a woman, or any woman, is not going to change her mind now and again. I'm not saying you can't <laughs> change your mind. What I'm saying is, if he's got the GPS ready, Miss LeBeau, where... Oh, he calls her Savannah. Savannah, where are you? And she said, I'm here. And then he checks the GPS, and she's at that moment somewhere else. That's where the problem's coming. Is, is that, that what's going yes, on? That's what's happening. This isn't about changing your mind. All right, so Mr. Cullen, I, already... I got, I'm going to have to give you some credit for clarity on that, because I was not seeing that. That's yeah. a different picture. You're dead sure she's cheating. You're tired of being accused. I'm tired of it. This day is to let us move on from this and hopefully we can resolve some issues and... Either make And you want to be yeah. happy? Yeah, yes. All right. Yes. How did you all meet? Funny story. So, um, you know, I'm an avid poker player. You know, um, in Dallas, we actually have a lot of um, bars that have uh, free roll poker. So um, I actually made it to the final round, so they had a smoke break. And uh, so I go outside and... Um, I see this beautiful woman in the corner crying. So I think to myself, jackpot. <laughs> you know? Wait, you see a woman crying beautiful. and your mind says jackpot? How, do, how does that bar. work? At a bar, you know, so. Oh, so that means, kind of, he's like, oh, that's, that, I'm, I'm gonna get that. Easy prey? Is yeah. That, easy yeah. prey, is that what it was? Achievable. Yeah. <laughs> Achievable prey. I said, I'm gonna write, that's a, a phrase I had that not heard is... before. Achievable uh -uh. prey. So, so what you know he... You're gonna hear that again, right? No, I'm not. Yeah, achievable no. prey. Yeah, I'm not achievable prey. Not you. I'm oh, just, gonna... just again. Yeah. yeah. All right, so what you tell... So, you know, I, get, I, I sit down, I talk to her, I introduce myself. And so, you get ready to turn this frown... Upside down. There you go. <laughs> so, 
everything, we hit it off, everything went well. Every, you know, one thing led to another. And this is where it's funny. This is where Because I used to think pretty funny yeah. Yeah. Right. The next day, so she, the funny. next morning, she actually asked me, when are you leaving? <laughs> And I, and this is what, it's funny. I actually said, my friend's already on his way to pick me up. And, and I, she couldn't believe that. Well, I'm used to guys coming over and moving in the first, you know, the first time we're together. So she I didn't, was in shock. She didn't like the high five. I said, it was fun. See you later. Oh, okay, wait, 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 wait. Okay, wait. yeah, yeah, wait. You, <laughs> you, did you just say to this court that you are used to guys staying one night and moving in? <laughs> that, they liked, that's what they expect to do. And I'm, Miss LeBeau, Miss LeBeau. No, she's got it like that, I guess. Oh, my goodness. I, I feel like I almost need to bang on all that. <laughs> okay, so oh. it sounds like you were also intrigued. I was. That's mm -hmm. what got my attention. I was very intrigued, and it made me actually, you know... She started coming to uh, yeah. my work all the time. I was a server <laughs> at a restaurant, and... Uh, Every shift she was there, you know. Ah, so oh, tables turned. He, be, he became the achievable it. prey. He became. Yeah, I told you I was gonna use it again. The hunter became the prey. You know? yeah. The hunter became the prey. Yeah. So you slow walked him from a one night stand to a, put a ring on it. Mm -hmm. Why do you believe your wife is cheating? I think she's cheating because, you know, I go to her work. And I know she is a cocktail waitress, so it is her job to flirt, but I think it's a little excessive. And she. When she's, you know, she'll be at the server station and you can see her writing something on the check. You don't so, think it's a drink order, at, possibly? But um, I've actually seen one of the checks and it had your number on it. Oh. No, no, Your Honor. That's not true. Are you extra flirty? Of course. That's how I make my money. He's been a server before. He knows how to make money as a server. That's what uh, you do. That's part of the job. Okay, you know, we've had friends. We had a son who worked in the service industry and yeah. tips are made because exactly, you... yeah. Yeah. I don't know if you flirted. The nicer you are, the bigger tip He probably is. did. No one here, he did. He's your son. Yeah, he did. <laughs> <laughs> so we get it. We get yeah. that. And but you think, you say it stops there. Yeah, of course. You don't believe that. No. The nail in the coffin for me to believe that she's cheating is this video chat thing. So Whoa. she is a model. She's modeled for a long time. Okay. But a couple days ago, I was playing poker again. And I came home, and um, she was naked on the couch. And when I come, come in, she tries That's to cover a good up thing, real right? quick and closes the laptop. If you don't mind, I can actually show you how it kind of happened. All right, let's All right. see. Let's see. So, you know. You walked in the house. You saw your wife naked on the couch. Yes. What was your first thought? What was your first thought? What would be your first thought? <laughs> because I think most guys would like that. I mean, I did until she covered herself up and closed the laptop. I so she was on the sofa like this. All right. She's naked. I walk in. And what does she do? She covers herself up and closes the laptop. So what do you think she's doing? She said she was taking the modeling pictures, so she left the room, I opened up the laptop, and it wasn't the camera background, it was actually a video chat background. And so you believe she was having a video chat with another man? Yes, Your Honor. If she was doing modeling pictures, the backgrounds wouldn't have dirty clothes and dirty dishes. It would be a nice, clean background, you know? What kind right. of model pictures it, are going to have dirty clothes in it? And it would be on the, on the camera setting, not the video setting. Yes, Your Honor. Okay. All right. Like All I was right. saying. Miss LeBeau. Miss LeBeau. <laughs> May I explain my side? Uh, please. Yes, I was nude on the couch taking pictures. When you apply to a modeling job, you have to submit candid photos of yourself so that they can see what you look like to get hired for the paying job. But your well, job's gonna have hire okay. you if you have dirty clothes and dirty oh, dishes. Hold on, hold on. Let me. When look. you're submitting those preliminary pictures for the gig, they don't care what the background looks like. They never have. They never will. That's where they come in. That's their job, right. not my job. Oh, my the job is to show them me. That's it. I take a picture, a candid picture of myself, submit it to them, see if I get the job. That's it. He doesn't know the whole side of the business. Okay, Mr. Uh, but I, we get all that. Here's my question. This was video. This wasn't pictures. It absolutely was not. He says it was video. The, I think uh, most of us know when our, you open a laptop, the difference between but, camera the video setting button, and video was, setting. On our computer, on our laptop, it's the it was same the video exact button. button. You can press the same button to go camera or video, camera or video. But it wasn't on that. It was on. All right. I, but you know what? It's a whole... Before we even get the to that point... You could have touched the key and it could have changed to Why video. did you jump 
and cover yourself because he up. wasn't supposed to be home. I didn't know who was walking in the door. I had no idea. I was I was scared. Well, <laughs> like, what about the background? I didn't know anybody Again. was going to be walking into my home while I was nude. It was. But he had a key. I, it was. I, I was just in shock. I mean. And that's why I don't believe it because all of these. Look, if these these are all. Hold on, just a minute. Those are pictures of Miss LeBeau. Of uh, modeling pictures, yes. Ryan, could you please get the evidence from Mr. LeBeau? Yes, Your Honor. So, this definitely, I would think, helps prove because, like I said, is she modeling for a flop house or the something? The photographers took not f pictures that I was submitting for jobs. Those are for the actual or the actual jobs. And if you see all these pictures, she's not nude. She always at least has a bikini on. So why, in this instance, she was nude? So, Mr. LeBeau, you submitted to the court pictures of published photos of her modeling. Yes, you're right. And they all have some level of clothing. Yes. And is your understanding that this is the type of modeling that she does? For the most part, yes. Okay. But what you saw was different from this. Well, it's completely different. Night and day different, you know? Well, that's... That's, uh... Mr. LeBeau, we've got pictures that Mr. LeBeau has provided. Why didn't you just send these pictures? Because you have... Like, I, those were a year, couple years ago. You have to give photos that are updated. I had to change my hair color, my weight changes, my skin tone changes, all that kind of stuff. You know. Okay, but if you're trying to get a gig, and I'm just, you know, taking pictures on a couch with dirty clothes and dirty dishes, that's not gonna make you look your best. Even though I know they're focused on you, you wanna put forth your best effort. I also will, like, if there's dirty clothes that you can see in the picture, I'll cut them out and crop it. I mean, I'm not gonna just send that in. I mean, come on. So you see why we're here today? It's hinky. Yeah. I think we've heard enough testimony, and here's what we're looking at. You have concerns about her with her phone. She's sleeping with her phone under the pillow. She treats it like Fort Knox. She's at work. She's giving her number to other people, and she's getting numbers from other people, and you're concerned that, you know, she shouldn't be doing that. She's cheating. And you come home, and she is naked on the sofa, taking a video of her, and you open it up and find out it's a video chat that you think is going to somebody else. Yes, Your Honor. And because of all of this, you think she's cheating. Yes, Your Honor. So I need to just find out whether or not she is because if she's cheating, I can't be... Like, again, I keep saying that I can't be someone's doormat. If she's cheating today, I, I have to just move on. It's make it or break it today. And so, Mr. Cutler, this family, this marriage is on the line. Everything is at stake. So if it comes out that she's cheating, they're done. Everything's at stake. That's to that point. This court has done a full and complete investigation to determine... Is she cheating? <laughs> At this time, the court will hear from private investigator Todd Redding. Ron, would you please escort Mr. Redding into the courtroom? Yes, Your Honor. Over to witness stand. Mr. Redding, how are you? Fine, Your Honor. Welcome. It's good to see you. Thank you. Could you please share with the court what your team did to investigate this matter? Yes, Your Honor. We uh, had Ms. LeBeau sit with forensic voice analyst Guy Wolf uh, to determine if she had been cheating. And I'm here to the court today with the results. All right. <sighs> so, let's take a look at the first question that was asked. The day your husband walked into the house and you were naked on the couch, were you video chatting with another man? No. All right. What did the forensic an voice analysis reveal? The voice analysis determined that she was being deceptive. Ms. LeBeau, you were video chatting with someone. Could have been a photographer that I was working with. All right, Ms. LeBeau, you can play games with Mr. LeBeau, but you don't get to play games with us. Let's go to the next question, then. Let's go to the next question, then. Since you have been married, have you had physical sexual contact with anyone other than your husband? No. What did the analysis reveal? Your Honor, the voice analysis determined that she was being deceptive. I have an answer to that one. I got really... I bet you, you do. You don't need to. No, I got very, very drunk one night, and... <laughs> You got drunk one night, and then what? I did get kissed by somebody in the parking lot one night, and I am very apologetic for that. Did you but... tell your husband? 
No, we got together at a bar, so it, he can't really say anything. <laughs> All right, wait, wait. wait. <laughs> Mr. LeBeau, I am looking at your face. What is going through your mind as you hear this? What's going through my mind is we're done. Like, uh, the, the proof is in the pudding. I deserve better than that. You all are married. You've been together for nine years. You have two children together. But this happy, this perfect, this loving marriage may all come to a grinding halt based on the outcome of this proceeding today. Is that right, Ms. Williams? Yes, that's correct. Tell us why you've opened this case. I opened this case because I do believe that Mr. Williams is cheating on me. I do believe there's a lot of infidelity going on within our marriage. Um, I think that there's a couple of things that I just can't ignore that's leading me to believe that there is someone else or maybe several other people that he may be cheating on me with. Mr. Williams, you've heard these accusations. How do you feel about being accused of cheating? I'm tired of it, to be honest with you. You know, like, you know, nobody wants to be not cheating and being accused of cheating. That's like you're not getting the pleasure part of it, but you're just getting the accusation part of it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, I don't want, like, I love her to death. I, that's why I can't approve myself. But at the same time, if that continues going on, I don't know how much longer I'm going to be able to, to be in that situation, to be 100% honest with you. So, I mean, these accusations can't come out of nowhere. I Ms. Mean, Williams, what are the warning signs? The warning signs is that I found a earring back in his car, in the front passenger seat of his work car, when his clients ride in the back. He comes home very late. He gets off of work around 6, and I don't see him until 12, 1 o'clock, sometimes 2 o'clock in the morning. And the other warning sign is that we don't have sex as often as we used to. Oh, wow, that's that's quite a trio Those you got going there. Yeah. Oh, so so you said that you found an earring back. I, I I mean, an earring back, that's not a big deal. Why would that be a big deal? Well, Your Honor, this is the thing. I will only wear a specific kind of earrings. Okay. Um, it, do you mind if I show you? The... Ron, Ron, would, would you... you hand that, bring that up to us, please? Thank you. This is the earring back that I found in the passenger seat of his car. Of his car? Yes. And this is the ear... these are the earrings that I wear. Do you mind if I, if you... He, he'll bring it up to me. Thank, Thank you. you, Ron. I don't wear the earrings that have the back that you pop on the back. Oh. I just wear the ones that you just put in you your... You put it in your clasp. So this is yes. self-clasping. Yes, Your Honor. You don't need backs. Right. See, I learned that all these years of buying nice earrings <laughs> for <laughs> Judge Cutler. So I, I know the difference. This guy. But this, this picture is of an earring back that you would slide on the post. Yes. And if you don't wear those kind of earrings, you don't understand why that kind of earring back is in his car. Yes, Your Honor. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. At the end of the day, Your Honor, all of this is falsehoods. Like, I do drive a taxi. I also engineer as well, like an audio engineer. So I, my time is, is crazy when I get home. The number one reason I can tell you she think I'm cheating, to be 100% honest with you, is the things I do with her. Like when we do have sex and when the sex was great and all of that, like, she knows I'm down to do everything. Like, I'll rub her back, kiss her feet, ETB. I'm too young for, for where no, you no. going. You know ETB. <laughs> I mean, yeah, okay. Yeah. I don't know what that is and I'm scared to ask it. All of that, you know what I'm saying? I'll go ahead and do all of that. So why would she have a problem with that? I can't imagine any woman would have a problem with that. Why do you think she has a problem with that? I think that she thinks that the thing I'm doing with her, I might be doing with other women and that scares her. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. What I'm curious about, though, is you said one of the warning signs is you're having less sex. Yes. He's saying it's because of the sex you all do have and all the things he's doing. That's scaring you. So is it less sex or is it what he's doing sexually with you? We, well, I'm a Scorpio and he's a Scorpio. So when it was normal, it was like three, four times a week. Now that went to three times a month. So, oh, that's, and that's that a decrease. decrease. That's a huge decrease. And that wasn't on your part? No, it wasn't on my part. So I know if we're not... <laughs> if we're not doing the deed at in our married home, then somebody's doing the deed for him. I see how it looks. Uh, yeah, I mean, you go from <laughs> three, four I, I, times I a that. week to three at times a month. At the end of the month. day, like, I'm not some animal that can't control myself. Like, I'm not somebody that just got to run around. I oh, love I'm sex. Not saying that. I love sex, don't get me wrong, but I'm not the type that can't control myself and you know, abstain myself if I need to. And that's what I've been doing. I'm like, But why has it decreased? To be honest with you, she ain't gonna like this, but, like, we used to have great, great sex. Now she has lazy sex. I don't want to have lazy sex. Wow. Okay, have you talked to her about it? I mean, I vaguely talk about how you had that conversation. You can't, you know what I'm saying? Wow. You're you on had it I... right here. <laughs> yeah, <that's> what... <laughs> Everything yeah. out here now, we might as well keep going. What is, what is lazy sex? 
Oh. That's like when it's like you gotta wake the person up and then they not all the way up. I don't, I don't want to do that. Like, <laughs> I, okay, but <laughs> admittedly, I, I've been married a couple of months. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm listening. I want to, I want to hear how this ends up. <laughs> Where am I going? Yeah, where are you going with It this? ain't gonna always be like a trapeze and a it's... trampoline. And sometimes okay. it's gonna be like, yeah, okay. I ain't trying to be in y'all business. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that don't mean I love you less. It's yes. just like, you Thank know, you. all right, all right, I feel you. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm not sure how I want to react to that. You I'm know? Just, I, just, I'm roll just, just roll with it. Just roll with it. I ain't in y'all business or whatever, but at the end of the day, I know he ETB when it comes down to it, because he, he want to keep the relationship going, he want to keep the marriage happy. Well, what is that? Eat you... the b Oh! Wow! Oh, I knew I shouldn't have asked. I knew I shouldn't have asked. If I'm going to that length, I'm not trying to have somebody have... Oh, oh, OK. You know, so at the end of the day, it's that. And then I do keep crazy hours. I'm not going to lie, I act like I don't keep crazy hours, because I do. So I can see how it'd be misconstrued as me doing something. But in all actuality, I'm not. And in fact, the matter is, I'm joking and laughing and stuff. But if this don't stop, I'm going to be ghost. Like, I'm not going to keep putting up with this. How do we go from happy times and ETB to <laughs> you accusing him of cheating? Well, another reason is because I was looking for my charger in the back of his car, and I saw a T-shirt, a bag of T-shirts with just T-shirts stuffed in the bag okay. in the back of his car. And he said, oh, well, sometimes when I'm working, I get hot and I get sweaty, and I just take my sweaty shirt off, and I just want to put a clean shirt on. I was like, OK. I taxis. There's, there's nothing wrong with that. You can put a clean shirt on. So I decided to investigate a little bit further. So I went back to get the bag, and I opened it, and a strong smell came out. OK. Like a, a perfume smell. OK. So I took, a, I took a shirt out of the bag, Your Honor, Rock. if I may. Wow. <laughs> Rock, would you please get that? So that's yeah. a shirt from out the bag. <laughs> yes. Is it uh, a clean shirt or a uh, not it, clean shirt? Well, this is the thing. It, it smells, it has a scent on it that it smells like a thought scent, Your Honor. Wow. <laughs> a thought scent? Yes. It's I Japanese didn't know they had that blossom. as a fragrance anymore. I didn't know that. Uh, <laughs> Mr. Williams, why does this T-shirt smell like a woman? Your Honor, to be 100% honest with you, like, <laughs> when I drive taxis, I like my taxi to smell a certain way. Like, I don't like it to be stink. I don't like nobody to come in there. Like, you like sometimes you get like people thoughts. that... OK, whatever. Why does it smell so fruity? Somebody could have dropped someone. See, I could have picked it up with that. See, he has a story for everything. If you're going coulda, you could have been with a woman. We're not dealing with what could have happened. I want to know what did happen. <laughs> Your Honor, if I may interject, she knows, no disrespect, that the sex right now is not up to par. So I think that's half the reason for her insecurities. I'm just going to keep it 100 with you. you Your Honor, we have a 10-month-old and we have a 4-year-old. Sometimes I get tired. Don't hey. they say the things you do to keep them? I mean, get them is the things you got to do to keep them. So don't get somebody and then change up. Here's the it's, thing. Okay. Sex starts here. If this ain't right, she ain't gonna want to be with you. Right. Have you found anything that makes you think that he's cheating? Oh yeah, definitely, definitely. Okay, what have um, you found? Um, well, I have found condoms in my house. I knew it. Come on. Um, I do. I do have a. Uh, evidence, if you'd like me to show you the explanation, Your Honor. Come on, sure. Please. Come on, who's gonna be crazy enough to... Hold on, Mr. Williams. Hold on, Mr. Williams. We'll get to you. Yes. I was looking for the salt and the paprika, Your Honor. I couldn't find it. It was, like, pushed back in the back of the cabinet. So I keep reaching my hand further back and back and back, and I find... I, feel, I start to feel some cardboard, so I pull it out, and it's a box of condoms in the back of my kitchen cabinet. Ew! Now, the, ki the kitchen is my space. Right. Everybody, because I'm, I'm the one that cooks most of the meals in the house. Um, Mr. Williams, Deshaun was also at our house when I found this box of condoms. And I asked, I said, okay, so which one of you guys th does this belong to? And they tried to feed me a story saying that it was there when we moved in the house. Had to be. Mr. Williams, I know you're trying to spice things up, but... But who's gonna be crazy enough to be cheating, bring condoms home, put them in your kitchen where you know your wife is gonna be at? Like, you can do you, wait, 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 do you all oh, use condoms in your marriage? No. And this was also the type, the brand of condoms that me and Timothy did used to use before we got serious, so I know they have to belong to him. I don't believe those are my brand, Yana. Oh. <laughs> At Definitely the end the, of the day, what's your explanation for why the be, condoms are found in the spice cabinet? They had to be there when I moved in, 100%, or they had to be my brother's, like... Okay, let's, let's hear from your he, brother. He said they might be his, but I... Not, this... We want to get your name for the record. Oh, yeah, no problem. Your whole name, please. Uh, Deshaun Williams. Okay, Mr. Williams. Uh, this is your brother. Yeah. 
And you were there when the condoms were found in the kitchen? Yes, I was there. All right. What did you tell Miss Williams <laughs> about those condoms, where they came from, or how they came to be there? I told her I didn't know because, you know, I love, I love my sister-in-law to death, but behind this situation, it actually spilled over into my household. So now, now that the drama has spilled and has unfolded, yeah. you're here in court right now. Yeah. want to tell the truth. So, so tell Miss Williams where the condoms came from. Please. Okay, th this is exactly what happened. We, um, I don't know if you heard of Something in the Water, because we live in the Virginia area. So we went to, all right, the Something in the Water Festival or whatever. Oh, okay. So we all chilling out, hanging out in their house after the show or whatever, and um, everybody starts leaving. Everybody starts going home one by one. Everybody's gone. And then one of our friends, he leaves out the door. And then he come running back in like, oh, I can't take this home. Here, you hold this for me. So he passed me. Talking to you? Yeah, talking to me. Okay. He didn't, he wasn't even there. He was, he was in the house, but he wasn't around at the area. For the so, conversation. Exactly. He didn't hear that. Yeah, okay. he was like right at the door. He came back, passed it to me like, here, hold this. I can't take it home. So it was late. We was drinking. I was tired. So I was like, all right. And then when it was time for me to go home, I thought about it. I said, I can't take this home either. <laughs> and the, the kitchen is right by the front door, so I just... Well, that's not... But you know what else is in the kitchen? What's that? A trash can. Thank but I didn't you. Wanna, I didn't want to throw Thank his you. property away, though. Thank you. <laughs> but you do understand that this story sounds real crazy. Yeah, it was. It was a crazy weekend. It was... And that wasn't the weekend. story that... When I asked you... That's what I was going to ask mm -hmm. you. What did they tell you when you found them? They said that... Um, they both said, I don't know whose it is. That was here when we moved in the house. That's We've right. We've in the house a year and a half, Your Honor. I packed this cabinet up because... The kitchen, is, that's my space. I was gonna ask you, when you put the salt in there, would you have thought these people who had this house before were nasty? Yes, they, were, think... they must have been really frisky. <laughs> I, I really didn't know where they came from. I, I didn't know where they came from. My, my brother wasn't honest, around. Didn't he know. didn't even know that they were there. Thank you so much for oh, your yeah, testimony. Oh, yeah, no problem. My brother's innocent. For yeah, I'm no, your brother's innocent. innocent. They each other, Your Honor. They're innocent. They always take up each other. So, here's what we have. We have, he's staying out late. You found an earring back in his car. You don't wear those type of earrings. You found a T-shirt that he claims that he's using to change up. Yeah. But when you smelled it, it smelled like thought. Yes. And then the, the one that puts me on my feet is the condoms in the kitchen yes. that you found in the cabinet. And you've been told, oh, they were either here when you moved in or I don't know, or a buddy's. I've been told several stories about that, Your Honor. It, exactly. Yeah. And so for all those reasons, you believe Mr. Williams is cheating? Yes. Okay, so here's the deal. When this is where we are, and the stakes are exceedingly high because literally a young, beautiful family is at risk. Because you got an answer for everything, and she doesn't believe any of your answers. So we're going to find out what the answers are because we've done a full and a complete investigation. Yep. At this time, the court will call a certified polygraph examiner, Kendall Shell, to determine is he cheating? <laughs> Mr. Shell, how are you today? Great, Your Honor. How are you? I'm doing good. It's good to see you, sir. Good to see you. Thank you. For the record, would you state your credentials, please? I spent uh, almost 30 years with the FBI and uh, spent my entire career in Washington, D.C. Uh, when I retired from the Bureau, uh, I was actually chief of the entire FBI's polygraph program. And you conducted a polygraph examination of Mr. Williams, is that correct? I did, Your Honor. The first question you asked Mr. Williams. You asked him, did you use any of the condoms that your wife found in the kitchen cabinet to have sexual intercourse with another woman? What was his response to that question? He said no. What did the lie detector determine? The lie detector determined he was being Truthful, Your Honor. What I told you. What I told you. What I told you. That's one. That's my, just my one. Brother's innocent. Oh. She's smiling. I'm glad to see a piece oh, of smile. Okay. You asked Mr. Williams, since you've been married, have you had physical sexual contact with anyone other than Mrs. Williams? Would that include ETB? <laughs> <laughs> ETB, top of the list. I should have never said that. He's like, yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I should have said that. You I learned something new today. Yeah. All right. <laughs> what was his response? He said no. What did the lie detector determine? The lie detector determined 
He was also being truthful on that. Oh, she's so happy. I want to apologize. apologize. All right, all right, Mr. Williams, let me talk to you. Yes, Your Honor? I'm going to encourage you to be gracious toward your bride. Mm. Okay. All right, now I'm going to talk to you. That's real. Mm -hmm. You know how good you treat him, you do things for him, you cook the dinner for him, you bring it to him in bed? Yes. Sweeten that pot a little more. Now, Mr. Williams. Yes, Shauna. It seems like your attitude is, well, she's not as willing to have sex as much as she used to. Mm -hmm. there's, a, there's a deeper connection that's not being made there. So what I do want you to remember is if sex is not the problem, then sex is not going to be the problem solver. You all have been together for four years and you met on Facebook. Is that correct? Yes, yes Your, Honor. Your Honor. All right, Mr. Elijah, you brought your girlfriend here to court today. Yes, Your Honor. Why have you brought her here? Because I want to marry her, but I want to find out whether she's cheating or not. All right, and you're here, Miss Neal, because? I'm here to prove that I'm not cheating, Your Honor. Okay. Um, and to basically save my family and my relationship. All right, let's look back on how you got here. You all met on Facebook. Yes. How did that happen? Actually, I posted a picture and she liked it. So I inboxed her and asked her why she liked it. And she was like, I think you're cute. So... Ah. Ah. Yeah. All right, all right. So, Mr. Color, we didn't have Facebook. I couldn't inbox you then, but I would have <laughs> inboxed you. But you would have. I would have. You would have. I would absolutely. Okay. So, why... I, you know, I was watching her during this whole thing. She was just smiling. <laughs> Okay, tell me about that when you saw his picture go blink. He didn't know, but I, we went to high school together. He was more like in his like his final years of high school. I was just starting. Ah, and so I you've had been a, eyeballing that. Yeah, I had a crush on him, but he was in a relationship. So when I saw him post the picture, I was just like, oh, well, let me like the picture and see if you still in a relationship. I ain't right, mad at there it. There you go. I like it. I like it. I like it. <laughs> and so what did you all do in your early days? We stayed in two different spots. So, like, when we met up, it was like we <laughs> would walk on dirt roads, cause, like, from the country. That's all and good. I had a butterfly feeling every time I saw it, like, because it oh, so far away. You know. Like I had when I met you, butterflies in my stomach. You had butterflies when <laughs> you met me? No bit. No bit oh, butterflies. I still get butterflies. Okay. How does that make you feel, right. Mr. Cutler? <laughs> I really do. <laughs> it's okay. Butterflies are good. Butterflies are what keep it hot. <laughs> what did you all like to do for entertainment? Or did you go to movies? Did you go to restaurants? What oh. kinds of things you like to do? Honestly, he might decide to cook. He always, basically, we always ate, like, pork chops, rice, garden peas, cornbread. That was his thing to cook. Okay, you're making me hungry now. Okay. <laughs> did he cook that for you? Yes! That's what I'm talking Hold about! <laughs> I wish I could come off this bench and give you a hug. A man who can cook a right pork chop is not to be underrated. <laughs> you hear me? Right. Okay. Right. You tell me why we're here. Every time you texting somebody, it's a dude somewhere she's texting actually. Okay. Tell me specifically what is bothering you about her texting. Like it might be a text saying I'm gonna come and see you. Okay. You've actually seen texts yes. that said I'm coming to see you. Yes. What do you say to that? I mean, if I didn't respond to the text message, I don't... I really don't know what to say because I didn't respond back to it. So you asking me, well, why is he telling you he's gonna come see you? I can't control what they told me they gonna come do. Well, here's the yeah. thing. A guy is not going to write you and say, when can I come see you, unless he has an expectation that, he's that gonna he can come you. see you. But see, that's you the thing. That don't work neither because she still texts him. Where's your number posted that all these fellas no, my, are getting your my number? My phone number isn't posted anywhere. And it's not always guys. I don't just randomly give my number out to a guy okay. that I meet. It's people that I've already known before him and I might... They not might inbox me or they might comment on a picture that I post and tell me to inbox them. And that's my decision. And I, yes, I do inbox them. And eventually, after the conversation, I give them my number. It's so, not like I meet random guys. So do these guys know that you're involved in a relationship with Mr. Elijah? I tell all of them that I'm in a relationship. And some of them say they don't care. And some of them do back away and they don't text me again. But some of them say they don't care. OK, so let me ask you something, woman to woman. I don't have the need for other men to say anything to me. This one's got that covered. Is there an unmet need in terms of your relationship with Mr. Elijah that you are trying to get from these other men? It actually is, but when I tell him that, it's 
no, you just trying to make up an excuse. He throws it off to the side and tries to flip it back on me, and he just <laughs> ignores the fact of what I just told him, the reason why I do it. Okay, you talk to him about why that's not good. Did this ever <laughs> cause you to break up with uh, Miss Neal? Um, yeah, on occasion, yeah. Why? Like, it, like, it even been a time, like, we had to move and separate from each other, and she was staying with my dad and his girlfriend, and they had a party, and they told me that she left but when I called her, she would never answer the phone. No, 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 no. Don't, don't tell... Don't well, try on, to... Let me... But when she finally answered the phone, she still wouldn't tell me where she was. But you all were broken up. Yes. Not, not yes, exactly. we were. No. Yes, we, we were. We were just in two separate okay. spots. In your eyes, were you all broken up? <sighs> no. Okay. Oh, my... I thought you just said y'all was on a break. We like were broken up. No. You were no, no lie. Not... You were okay. no lie. All right, so he finally got in touch with you, and you eventually went back to his dad's house. Is that right? Yes. Okay, but so what happened when you got... Before all of that, she asked me to pick her up. If you all were broken up, why did you call him to come pick you up? Yeah. Because he had called my phone before I left Savannah, and he asked me, would I come back, and could we work on it? And that's why I was like, okay, well, you pick me up in Statesburg, and we'll go from there. We can work on whatever you want to work on. But see, when I Is got that how there, you remember it, Mr. Elijah? I mean, yes, somewhat. But when I got there... It's somewhat. It's always somewhat. But when I got there, I wasn't expecting to see two guys and her and another girl. The other one was the person that I was with while I was in Savannah. It was his car. But at some point, you all got back together, right? (laughs) Y'all got in a car together. What did that look like? A mess. We on the way back. She didn't even say nothing the whole time. But the whole time, I was asking her... Oh, you lie. About why was it two dudes and two girls in the car? Okay, so when she get in the car, that's what you fire off. Who you in the car with? Yeah. And what did you say? When we got Maybe that'll refresh his memory. Because he never stopped talking about it. It was even two days later. We had an honest hour. And what did you tell him? I told him that me and the dude had actually slept together. And we had been... I had been down there with him since I left from his dad's and his girlfriend's house. And how long were you in Savannah? I was only in Savannah for two days. No. Yes, I was. It was... I know what day I was in Savannah. I know what day... So you found a guy in Savannah in two days? No, no, no. I knew this guy previously. Yeah, she found a guy in, like, two days. Oh, my God, no. Specifically, why do you believe she's cheating? Like, it was this time, like, I went in the house and it actually smelled like sex in the room. And the ceiling fan... The ceiling fan wasn't on before I left. I probably left, like, four to five minutes. Okay, and when was this? It was actually June the 7th. Okay, June seventh. Tell me, tell me what happened. That's... Why is the ceiling fan on? Why it smell like sex to First him? First of all, he's lying because <laughs> I'm not. he had been there. My son's birthday was June fourth. We had a birthday party for my son. He was there the fourth, the fifth, the sixth. But and we the sixth. talking about June the seventh. I don't care. You were there before, and you were there that day early, and we actually did have sex that night before that. But we talking about June the seventh. Okay, so what happened June seventh specifically? I left for probably like four to five minutes. Uh-huh. Right, so I come back. The door locked. The door ain't never locked. Which door? You the front door. door the front door ain't never locked. So I'm be- banging on the door. I'm probably out there for like 20 minutes, maybe. Wow. Banging on the door. Yeah. You don't have a key to the house? No. Okay. Okay. So the, the so, door is locked and you beating on it. So you get in the house and what happens? She even smelled like soap. Like she just had washed off or something. All right. I always do that. I can take a... I can... And I the can ceiling literally... fan is on when you go in there. And yes. the ceiling fan hadn't been on. No. And you couldn't think of a reason for the ceiling fan no. to be on. And it smelled like she that. don't run the ceiling fan. It's always cold. Oh, All right. God. Was there another instance after that? Actually, June the 9th. So two days the later. The anniversary, really? June oh, the wow. 9th. You funny. The day I left, probably like for two hours. By the time I come back, she smelled like soap and don't chain cold. All we right. been out in the heat all day. What you expect? So, okay, so tell I mean, me, a woman so, can't take a bath? Because she's taking in the phone in the bathroom. What, what you need the phone in the bathroom for? You take your phone in the bathroom. You do it, too. How you know she smell like soap? I mean, I'm just because curious. I can smell it on her. How close did you get to her? Close. But she was trying to <laughs> push me you, away. Were you inspecting her? Yes. Yeah, basically, yes. to be honest. I, well, I got to tell you, do. This, is, this is a whole nother level. And I... Don't sniff me. Just don't, <laughs> don't do sniff. that. Okay. All right. Don't... Don't inspect me, even. I don't even want to be inspected. <laughs> you cannot have those levels of suspicion and paranoia. Because so far, what you're telling me, it does not equate to cheating. It is as if you have gone off the rock. Now, she's admitted... She told you she admitted that she had cheated. In and I understand why you would have an issue with that. If you're going to stay in this relationship, you're going to have to let that go. 
In addition to this matter that you have, your love suit, you also have a lawsuit. Yeah. What's your claim in your lawsuit? I bought a ring that I bought because I wanted to marry, but it's too late for me to take it back now. So I want my money back in the ring. What a ring is? Okay. I was gonna say, did, did she have, did you give did her the you ring? Did you propose to her? Yes. It ain't then... on my finger. <laughs> have you given her the ring? Yes. Well, if okay. it's on my, it ain't on my finger, so what a ring at, Dion Joy? I have no idea ring. what she did with it, but she had it. Oh, wow. So now I'm a magician, too. I'm Houdini. I disappear rings, too, huh? <laughs> oh, my God. Do you have no recollection? He okay. never gave me a ring. I've never got a ring. Have you okay, seen the ring? Okay, have you seen the ring? Never seen a ring. Didn't even know nothing about a ring till today. When did you propose to her? When? Oh, uh, I forgot, actually. Oh. oh. <laughs> okay, wait a minute. Hold up. Ho, ho, hold up. Wow. Now, I don't remember the date. Wow. But I can tell you it was August of 1981. It was a hot August day in Atlanta. I had worked all day. I was all dusty from doing, what was it? Inventory. Inventory at the store I worked at. Mr. Cutler was like, come on over, I have cooked dinner. We had T-bone steaks, baked potato, salad, cheesecake, and sweet tea. And I looked a hot mess, because I had been in a hot room all day. And he got down on one knee, hallelujah. And he said, Will you? and I was like, no, because I wanted to look beautiful on that day. And I did not look beautiful on that day. And he proposed to me. I remember everything about that day. Yeah. So how you not going to remember proposing to her? Yeah. How and you gonna remember it? Well, you got a receipt or something yes, for this ring? I got a receipt for it. You okay. got a receipt well, for it, but where my this, ring is? I know that's yeah. right. Why Ron, would you grab that, plate? please? Thanks, sir. You never got a ring. I never got a ring. Have you but, had a proposal? No, if I did, I would remember it just like you remember. That's those. what right. I'm talking about. So you're suing for a ring that she says you never even gave her. I, she I got it. <laughs> but you don't remember you when don't you gave it to her or how you gave it to her. Was it in a restaurant or was it at home? No, no it was he at home. He don't take me to restaurant, so I know it, it was where? at restaurant. Home. It was at home. Yes. Um, you all have kids. Did any of the kids see this? <laughs> <laughs> No. Okay. All right, now, but it said we do have a receipt here for $2,000. That's a nice That's a ring. Nice ring. Yeah. Well, it's a nice ring that I ain't never seen, so I hope you can see a picture of it. Uh, well, <laughs> let me just say this. I know you got your receipt, but she doesn't seem to have the ring, and your a testimony is not consistent with somebody who's proposed and gave a ring. <laughs> so I'm going to just tear this up, dismiss your lawsuit, and we're gonna keep it moving. Your claim is denied. Now, we still have to go back to the cheating allegations. And in order to get to the bottom of that, Ms. Neal, you have submitted your phone to the court for examination. Is that correct? Yes, Your Honor. All right. And so at this point, the court would like to call cybersecurity expert Mr. Greg Evans. Ron, would you please bring in Mr. Evans? Yes, sir. Mr. Evans. Okay. Hello. Hello, Your Honors. How are you? I'm great. Good to see you. Mr. Evans, how have you used technology to catch cheaters? I do cybercrime investigations, including forensics and social media investigations. In this case, you mm -hmm. were able to examine Ms. Neal's phone. Is that correct? Yes, I did. And when I did... Um, I noticed, the first thing I noticed when I got the phone, that Ms. Neal had went through the phone and started deleting information on the phone, like videos, text messages, and um, photos. Are you able to recover deleted information? Yes, I am. <laughs> what did you find? I was able to recover 166 photos and found eight deleted videos on her phone. What did you find with the photos and videos? Hmm. <laughs> Out of 166 deleted photos and the eight deleted videos, they were all innocent. There were so many of her kids, her with the kids. She's taking selfies in the mirror with the kids and they had pictures of you. Same thing with the videos. 
So nothing incriminating. I'm gonna be honest with you. This is the first case myself or anyone on my team has where we received a phone where a person deleted information before handing it over, mm -hmm. where everything on there was innocent. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. <laughs> Like, I'm so tired of this. I'm so tired of it. Because I know I'm not doing nothing. And it's like, it's pushing me to feel like, well, if you're gonna keep badgering me and accusing me, why not go do it? Because I have two kids. I'm a stay-at-home mom. I can't get a job right now because I don't trust everybody with my kids. I get that. I don't like everybody being around my kids. So I'm with my kids every single day. And if I'm bathing my kids or I'm cooking for my kids and you telling me because I didn't text you back in a, time, a timely fashion that I'm doing something, then you need to leave me alone. All right. Now, she's admitted she has done something in the past while you were on a break. You all dispute whether that was a break, but in her mind, it was a break. But that's the past. You've got to deal with her right now. Now, you loved her enough to propose to her. You loved her enough to buy her a ring. That I didn't get. You need to love her enough to give her that ring and move forward with that. Are you prepared to do that? Yes. <laughs> 